Hmm. Story's a little bit better than Frozen, at least. Of course, they're gonna start talking after the cutscene. I guess we'll let that finish. Or not. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying before I got interrupted by Donald uh, Duck and then the cutscene. As long as I don't have to put Olaf together, I guess this will be a better world. I mean, jeez. Toy World was my least favorite, but Frozen is... Uh, I'm like traumatized by it. That was unacceptable. What the heck happened to that? Why did they let... Uh, whatever. It's in the past. I don't have to do it again. Let's focus on Monstropolis and see where it's actually going to take us. It feels like this is a somewhat actual, like, Kingdom Hearts story, though. Sort of like Toy World, but this one's more entertaining than Toy World. You don't say, Goofy. Um... Where do I want to go? I guess that way. Me too. Like, you don't have to spell everything out. I don't think that counted as a cutscene. Ow, oh, I rolled out of the way. Like, I so rolled out of the way. This game feels a little bit unresponsive sometimes, but what can you do? I don't even know who I'm attacking. I just, like, pushed A one time too many. Uh, those are, like, little bad oil heartless, I guess? Oh, you're not even dead. Now you are. Whatever, I'm not gonna worry about enemies if I have to wait on them. How on earth did that turn it on exactly? Okay, we're not gonna have any new anything, are we? Oh, actually, I guess we do. Stupid joystick, man. Fire bangle. Okay. I sorta want that because for some reason I'm dying to thunder, but what's this one do? Water, and then arrow. Okay, so I'll buy one of these. Thunder, for some reason, just feels like uh, a lot worse. Alright, so that gives me the blizzard resistance. Let's put that one on for now. Wait, was that one, like, also dark? Oh, it's probably better, but you know what? I want thunder, so now we got 35% thunder resistance. And do you sell high potions yet? No. And I have enough potions, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Alright, so we're at about 11 hours. Subtract 2, because I uh, left the game open for 2 hours. Okay, so I'm trying not to talk in a manner that uh, gets confusing, because I'm cutting out all the cutscenes. So I think I did, just a few seconds ago, I said I don't understand the point of the paint, or something like that. I said something like that. So what happened was Sully and Mike got into, like, the pink camouflage paint, and somehow that powered up the, um, the elevator. So they came in here, and one of the pipes burst, and it cleared all the paint off of them. So I still have no idea what the point of the paint was. <laughs> that was very strange. Maybe I missed how paint powers up elevators? But... 
All I remember is the elevator was locked down and had no power. They said, hey, let's go into the paint room. They got covered in paint, and then the elevator had power. I don't know. Um, we're here fighting Heartless now, so I guess we'll just keep heading forward. Uh, do I need to go down here? Does not look like yet. If I do, let's go up here first, I guess. Yeah, I'm glad I got the thunder resistance. Jeez. They are all thunder. You have literally seen weirder things. You're accompanied by a talking duck, Sora. Why does the fences bother you? Why can't I attack? I know, my goodness, they cannot shut up in this world. Holy cow. Ouch. Alright, more thunder. Yep. It's not hurting me nearly as bad as it was in Frozen. Level 28 for a couple of companions I'll probably never see again. I'm having such a hard time targeting these guys today for some ouch, some reason. Come here. Okay, not who I wanted. Oh, I was trying to target Donald Duck. Never mind, that's who I wanted. Man, just die already. <laughs> There wasn't a cutscene after that? Holy cow. That that boggles my mind. This might count as a cutscene. Eh, no. Yeah. Jeez. Seriously, we did this already. Okay, I'm just saying, from a game design standpoint, right? We did this already. We did this once before. We saw the lasers. I know I'm not supposed to get hit by them, and I know I'm supposed to find the control panel to blow them up. So instead, they have a cutscene telling me, oh look, there's lasers we have to worry about again. And then Mike tells me again that I have to worry about the control panel. It's like, ouch. Like, I, I know. I know. Why are you telling me twice? Holy crap. That is a little annoying. Ouch. Okay, we're just gonna stick on the inside instead of trying to go down the middle. Really? Because that was easier than the first part. Mr. Voice narrating over me, okay. Second control panel. Destroyed. That's a big beetle boy. I thought I'm not worried about it. Let's actually try to make use of the shield here. Why? No, why? There we go. Oh, uh, well, sort of. Ow. Why am I saying ow? That didn't hurt at all. I'm not doing the teacups. You can't make me. Oil. That's just bad luck. Stop spinning so I can finish you off. Hyper hammer so I can really finish you off. Or uh, you're just not gonna let me, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm gonna target every other enemy but the biggest one, I guess. Anyway, what I meant was that. That's what I meant to happen. Okay, are they gonna spawn like three more on me now? Nope, they're just gonna have more pointless little mini cutscenes between enemy spawns. Come on, Donald, let's use some of your fire. Has to have some use, right? Where the heck were you guys five seconds ago? 
Yep, there's another beetle. Kind of surprised they haven't spawned two of these for me. That was pretty common in the older games. They'd give you, like, some big enemy. Or they might even have one enemy as a boss, and then later in the game it becomes a regular enemy. That does pretty good damage, actually. Oh, let me get behind the beetle. Or... Just attack thin air, I guess. There we go, jeez. I don't know who you were targeting, Sora, but it sure wasn't the beetle. Where are you going? Attack the direction I'm facing! I don't want to have to target, because then the Heartless moves around, and then I can't dodge very well, and... My goodness. I know I'm supposed to target, I get that, but I just it's just like... I like the freedom, but then it just targets... I feel like I could just have better targeting anyway. Okay. Big hit. Didn't do as much damage to him as I thought. Oh, let's do that then. Hey, are you done talking? Good. I think. Hey, Alright. What's my lucky emblem? Alright, I did figure out what the paint was used for earlier. Laughter. Made Boo laugh. That's how it powered on. Duh. <laughs> Holy moly. Alright, uh, what are we doing? Make my way to the door vault. So, that's gotta be this way? I mean, the big glob, uh, one of the organization summoned a giant glob in the last cutscene, so I'm assuming that's our boss. Maybe not, though. I was saying earlier, these worlds seem to be anywhere from two to three hours long, and we're like at 40 minutes for this world right now. Although with the cutscene might actually be like five minutes of actual gameplay. <laughs> so I'll be surprised if this world's super short. Um, I'm sure they're gonna give me more to do. You don't say. That's what... <laughs> there is so much NPC dialogue in this world. Anyway, I was saying you don't say to the end of the last cutscene because Sally said we have to get to Boo's door, which is what we've been doing the last hour! 